Wow, yikes. So, um, see, I'm about to start editing my vlog and I get an urgent, urgent phone call from Eyebrow Lady Tammy. She can only take me right now, like 11.45. It's like 11.30 right now. I gotta go, gotta get my eyebrow fixed before going to Vegas. Oh shit, my, my shorts are ripped. Hold on guys, I'm in a really huge rush right now. Why, Eyebrow Lady, why, Tammy, why? Guys, I'll get back to you in a little. Pretty much... I have to get my eyebrows done before going to Vegas because bushy as fuck. Like, imagine all the bushes we have outside by the plants. That's all of those are my eyebrows combined. And it doesn't help that I'm Middle Eastern, so I'm already hairy by default. And I guess she's not working or whatever the next two days. And I leave to Vegas on Thursday, so... Hey, Tammy. <laughs> I said, hey, Tammy. This All right, guys. So I just got out my operation. I swear getting my eyebrows done is like surgery. Oh, wait. Those people just heard me. You don't get them shaped. You don't get them arced, arched, whatever the fuck it's called. You just clean them up. The first time I went, I didn't know, like, uh, I didn't know what, what to tell her. And she literally shaped them like a girl. And I was just like, mm-mm. But no. So yeah guys, so let me explain. I'm gonna be in Vegas Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we're not coming back till Monday afternoon. So I pretty much, I'm gonna try and make five videos beforehand, but honestly, if we're being honest, there's probably no way I can finish. I don't think there's any way I can think of, record, edit, render, and upload five different videos by the time I leave early Thursday morning, there's just no way. So um, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to do as many videos as I could. I just don't think I could do five, especially now that I'm maintaining two channels, my NBA channel too. So um, I don't know guys, I'm gonna try my best. But also right now I need to go buy a new phone because, okay guys, I'm so busy today and tomorrow. I barely even have time to breathe. Look, I have to, I have to take like an extra, think just to breathe but uh yeah i have to buy a new phone because if you guys don't remember in brian's skit a while ago like six months ago i cracked my screen oh sorry yo oh sorry you good bro oh sorry what phone screen hey how did that happen when did that happen when did you drop that when i did wait what it wasn't cracked before it wasn't cracked before remember when i dropped on the floor and picked it up wait what the hell happened your Remember when I dropped it on the floor when we acted to like to take the selfie and I was too nervous? Oh, it cracked from that? Wait. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Damn. Fuck your skits. Damn. That's. Oh. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And then when Jackie pranked me, I cracked my screen even worse. You fucking cheater. Cheater. You're a fucking cheater. You're never gonna find another boyfriend. You fucking. So my screen has been cracked for I'd say like six months and instead of buying a new phone or waiting to fix my cracked screen, I just waited for my two year contract to end. So now I have an upgrade. So I'm gonna go upgrade my phone. It's finally time. I waited like six or seven months with a cracked ass broken screen. And um, I haven't even started editing my vlog for today. So we're, oh my God. As I speak, there's fans at the door. You see guys, this is what I mean. When we're not busy, we don't mind. But like, especially like today, there's just no way. Fuck. I'm like, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but when we have a sign up at the door, a huge green sign, and after I made that video, which, mind you, got over 1 million views and was on the YouTube trending page for two days about why fans should respect our privacy and not come to the door, how do you still show up at the door? Right now, I'm making circles around... No. All right, guys, so let me just re-explain that really quick because I feel like I'm, I'm such a rush and just so stressed right now that I kind of explained that really wrong. So, eyebrow lady Tammy, she's out of town for the next two days. I had to get my eyebrows done today. Um, what else? What's new? I'm editing my vlog for today. Today's Tuesday, and I haven't uploaded yet, so I'm editing my vlog right now. After that, I have to 
try. I'm saying try because I don't know if I could for sure. I have to try and think of, think of, record, edit, render, and upload five different videos. Five different videos from my Vegas trip because I'm going to Vegas Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Coming back Monday morning. So I'm going to try my best. I don't know if I could. Um, fans that were outside, I, I just told them straight up. I said, you know, today's not really the right day. At least not for me. I don't know about my brother. And uh, to come back after I get back from Vegas. So we got that settled. I'm going to meet up with them. They were three fans when they come back. When I come back from Vegas. So that's going to be cool. And uh, also, look at my phone. Could you see all the cracks? It, it cracked like over half a year ago so I was gonna get it fixed a while back but instead I just waited for my um, for my two-year contract to end so now I'm gonna go get my new phone I've had this phone for for over two years actually I've had it for almost three years so it's finally time for a new phone this phone has gone to shit even the front camera now is just like cracked and um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, and then I have to go schedule a haircut appointment, not for today, but for Thursday. After. Today is a hectic day, and um, we'll see you guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad my contract ended and I can get a new phone, because just a couple of days ago, my front camera is, is started like acting up, so it came at the perfect time. But I need to get this vlog done really quick. By the way, if anyone's asking, yes, I still do have feelings for my side chick, Tammy, so if anyone's asking. Hello. Guys, FedEx pulled up. My suspicion is that a fan rented out a FedEx truck just so that we open the door. <laughs> I hope it's Brian and my mom are making this. No, it's really a FedEx guy. Brian and my mom are making this video. <laughs> Bosley, stop. Stop that, Bosley. Mom, look at his rolls. Brian and my mom are making this video. Mom, how scared is Brian? Hurry, tell them. Oh my god, he's shaking. Really, Brian, he's sweating. It's been like 45 minutes and he's still not doing it. Oh, that's Guys, I love this. I'm just sitting back watching, fucking dying, laughing at every reaction. My excuse for why I'm not playing is because I have to edit, so I don't want to injure my fingers from shock. <laughs> this is the best day of my life, I swear. Hey guys, just finished editing this vlog. I freaking love my barber. I just got off the phone with him, and I don't, like I said, today I'm really, really busy, and tomorrow, so I don't have time to get cut. I'm, look how... Remember me, I'm back. Not just Bro Wattis, not just Brandon, but the, you know, the wait everything till the last second, Bro Wattis, he's back. Thursday, I have a flight, okay, to Vegas. Guess what my haircut appointment is? Thursday. I'm getting cut the same exact day, but I called my barber and I was like, Tony, is there any way you can come in early um, on Thursday? So he's coming in early just to cut my hair. So uh, I better fork up a nice tip that day. But uh, so yeah, I got my haircut appointment set. Everything's going by. All right, guys. So despite being so tight on the schedule. Okay, Bosley, you might want to close your ears for this one because you don't believe in this. But you always got to make time for the gym. You got to make time for the gym no matter what you have planned. I know Bosley hates the gym. It's fucking fat ass. But before I go to the gym, I thought of a video idea to um, to do for when I go to Vegas. I'll, a lot of people have been asking for this. I don't know why I haven't been in a long time, but I'm gonna make a stop at the PO box really quick. Me or my brother have not been there in so long. It's gonna be, it's gonna be stockpiled, okay? I'm gonna have to make like three or four different trips, but uh, I'm gonna make, stop at the PO box and uh, go to the gym after that, and then probably get my new phone later tonight. Guys, holy shit, look at this. This is already the third round. Trying to load everything in my truck. There's, I still have to go back in there like three more times. There's no way this is gonna fit. I bet you these are all for Brian anyways. I'm pretty much doing Brian's dirty work, I swear. But I'm on round three and I probably still have like three more rounds. Sounds familiar like me in bed. Uh -huh. Okay, the trunk's getting full. I might have to move up to the front. Okay guys, so the trunk has officially ran out of room. I moved on to the back. 
I swear all the names say Two Phase Road, Two Phase Road. Brian better pay me for this shit. Guys, two fans here at the post office. Shout out. Hi. What's your name? I love your videos. My name's Angela. My name's Annie. And what about your boyfriend? Shout him out too. <laughs> Brandon thinks your videos this are This person's hilarious. gonna kill you. Okay, shout out Brandon. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Guys, y'all love Brian too much. So we got like eight of these keys. Each one is for a locker. The love that I get from Jackie, he gets from you guys. But, okay, let me see what's next. 20. Guys, look, each locker is filled like this. And we had eight. We had eight of them. I don't know how this is going to fit. We saw so much more. Why did I think it was a good idea to come here alone? The whole trunk full. Back seat full. All the way up. My dad is literally Tetris. <laughs> mom, are you gonna help or just me and dad? My mom's helping with the food. I bring like three in at a time, my dad brings like 50. Bodzel, you wanna help? Come on. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Guys, we're separating okay. the... We're separating letters from packages to gifts. There's a lot. Wow. This is actually insane and crazy. Thank you guys so much. 90% of the things came from comes from Brian on my behalf. <laughs> and the other 10%. Yeah, that, that looks like you. Dad, that looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? This. Yeah, I got one envelope when you open it already. Oh yeah, I already opened this one. Wait, Dad, look at Bosley. Bosley, no. Bosley. Oh. My he stepped God. on all oh. <laughs> This is Christmas for Bosley. Uh -huh. Bosley, what are you doing? Pick one letter and we're Bosley, Bosley, Bosley no. <laughs> Pick one. Give me one. Give me one. Guys, and the other 10% of the thanks comes from behalf of me, my dad, and my mom. Of course. Thanks, Dad. You love him. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Bosley, you like the cool air? Guys, again, thank you so much. Mom, this is crazy. It is. Seriously, look. Not even uh, George Clooney get this much. Not even George Clooney. Imagine this is our bill. This is bill. <laughs> this is all bills. Well, guys, I'm off to get a new phone. Look, I just want you guys to see. Fuck, why doesn't it show as bad on camera as it is in person? It's really bad. Look. Guys, if this isn't the scrubbiest fucking outfit, look at my camel toe. The line, just joking, it's the sweats. But, uh, look, the scrubbiest fucking outfit on earth. Whatever. Next time you see me, I will have a new phone. Oh shit, let me try that again. Well, never mind on getting the new phone because I guess if my upgrade is not, it's not time for my upgrade. My two year contract is not up because someone in my family took my two year. Whatever one it was up, I don't know who it was, but someone in my family did it, whether it was my mom, dad, or Brian. Um, so I have to wait until fucking literally one more year. And I said, can I just get the phone without breaking my contract? He said, yeah, if you pay $640 and then get the phone. So, so I would pay almost $700 just to break the contract. And then on top of that, however much money the phone is. So another couple hundred dollars. So I'd be paying almost a thousand dollars for a phone. And I'm just like, nah, like, I'm just sick with my phone for now. I'll just get the screen fixed sometime soon. I don't know. I wanted to do this before Vegas because I wanted to take a lot of pictures at the NBA Summer League. And my camera is like done, like cracked. But, um, oh well. I hope everyone in my family enjoys their six pluses, mom, dad, and fucking rug. While well, I still have the six, but it's okay. At least I have a phone, so we'll go from there. Is he praying? No, that too. Are you pregnant? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at Bosley. Oh my gosh. Bosley! Oh wait, my dad watches my vlogs and he hates when I wake Bosley up. Sorry, dad. 
How mad does my dad get? Wait, what are you eating? A biscuit. It's biscuit. So you did like me. <laughs> Fucking lie. She said biscuit. Oh no, Bosley woke up. Hey, Bosley. Dad, it's not my fault. Guys. Oh my gosh. My ass is not flat. <laughs> look at Bosley's paw. Bosley, why is your paw on the thing? Guys, look how fake Jackie is. She scared me when I came out of the bathroom. And she was on her Snapchat, and she said, she accidentally deleted it, and she said, wait, babe, can we do that again? Okay, go. Okay, fine. She really did scare me, though. So now she's fucking faking it for her Snapchat. Okay, come when I tell you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that good enough? Oh my god. Guys, look, there's a player on the 76ers. Watch, hold on. Look. I don't know. It, it's pretty funny. Look, he's number 23. Hold on. Come on, show him. He looks really funny. Like, I don't know. He's really ugly, too. Hold on. Show the 76ers. It's this guy on the Sixers. He, he looks really weird and ugly. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Babe, don't say that. One. He's really ugly. Babe, wait, I want you to see the weird looking ugly dude. My poor toy. Oh, he's right there, look. I don't know, they call him Noodlehead. He's really ugly. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> wait, hold on, guys. <laughs> I've seen him before, I I know, I feel like I've seen him in person, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Showing I'm Kyle. A stroke, how ugly. We'll see him in summer league, but yeah, it does feel like we've seen him right there. I don't know. They call him Noodlehead. I don't know. Yeah, that looks like you. That's how round your head is. Guys, it's literally 11 p.m. and there's five fans outside. There's five. Oh, I'm trying to finish all my videos for Vegas. Stop, I only finished one out of five. For the love of God, it's 11 p.m. on uh, what's today? It's freaking Tuesday. The burg alert. The burg alert alert. Hey, boy. Oh my god, yes, I do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Open, open. He's gonna pop my champagne bottle. Babe, open, what is that? Babe. A moth, a snake. Babe, open it. It's a snake. Wait, babe, do you like my drawing? Babe, what is that? Do you like my drawing? Babe. Babe, do you like my drawing? Yeah, but what is that? It's a snake, a gaboon viper. <gasps> Kill it. <laughs> a condom head. Okay, guys, I want to end this vlog off by just saying a little something really quick. First off, I want to apologize for it because this was a short vlog compared to my other videos, but this was honestly such a busy day for me and I tried to get so much done. So um, I'm actually happy I even got a vlog up, but I'm apologizing because it, it is pretty short. So there's that. I'm about to go get my phone screen fixed. You guys saw I wasn't able to get a new phone. Um, also, I just wanted to say all those packages and letters in the uh, post office, thank you guys so much. Like. I haven't even opened any of the packages or letters yet, but I don't need to open them to say thank you because it's not about what's inside the package. Just the fact that you guys are going out of your way and getting like even a handwritten note for me or my brother. I have a whole drawer right there. It says fan mail. I keep all the letters in there after I read them and it, it just means so much. Like you guys, no one's forcing you to do it. You guys don't have to do it and you guys are still doing it. So thank you so much for that. Um, Despite 99.999% of those gifts being for my brother, there were also some for me. So I'm saying thank you to you guys. And I'm also saying thank you on behalf of my brother because I'm sure he appreciates it appreciates it just as much. And uh, like I said, nobody has a knife to your neck saying go send these two brothers gifts or letters. You guys are doing it on your own. And it, it just means so much to me. It's not about what's inside the packages. The fact that you guys are, are just doing Just thank you so much. Also, um... 
approaching 800,000 subs? 800,000. On a bigger picture, that's close. One mil. We're road to one mil. Seriously. And, and but on a smaller note, 800,000 is just insane. And I feel like I don't say this enough because my vlogs are more like... I try to make my vlogs more funny and, you know, raw and stuff, so I don't really have the time to be serious. But on a more serious note, thank you guys so much. And I feel like I don't say that enough. I appreciate you guys so much. And um, there's a lot of haters. That's fine. I know who my true fans are, who my true subscribers are, that it doesn't matter if you've been with me for one day, one hour, or one year ever since I started. If you watch my content and you like it, you watch my content and you like it, that makes you a true fan. That makes you a friend of mine, a true subscriber. Um, I just feel like since my vlogs are more on the joking side and more, you know, not as serious, I don't really have the time to say it or I don't really make the time to say it. But thank you guys so much. You guys mean the world to me. And um, I'm honest when I say it. My girlfriend always texts me after I meet a fan. Like, I'll be meeting them and then I'll check a text on my phone. My girlfriend says, haha, why do you look happier with a fan than you look with me? It's just like as big as a smile that it puts on your face, it puts an even bigger one on mine that like me just some normal kid who like just goes to the gym has a girlfriend goes to school and just lives with his parents under the same roof can be such a big like role model and influence on someone's life and i, I never take that for granted so thank you guys so much and uh i appreciate every single one of you guys who watches my videos everyone who presses subscribe and uh i just i really do love you guys without you guys i i don't want to say it but i wouldn't be anything so thank you guys so much um yeah so also i'll give you guys a little hint if you guys like my channel now if you guys are already obsessed with bro just know that if you think like this is bad it's gonna get even worse and by worse i'm talking good i'm talking your obsession is gonna get worse because let me just tell you this you think this channel is good now i'm like i'm i have so many ideas and so much planned for this channel in the future that you guys will not be disappointed i guarantee you for those who already love my channel you're gonna love it even more for those who are iffy about my channel i'm gonna get you to love it just know it's gonna include public pranks funnier skits more special guest appearances and uh just overall a bigger variety and funnier videos and and just trust me when i say this if you're already big on my channel you're gonna get even bigger you're gonna fall in love with it even more if you're kind of like iffy about my channel Trust me, I'm going to get you guys to like it. I'm going, for those who just watch my videos but won't subscribe because they're hesitant, I'm going to work my ass off to get those people to subscribe, okay? I love you guys all. I need to go get my phone screen fixed. Thanks for watching the longest outro on earth and uh, much love. Let's hit 800k soon, okay guys?